Good morning everybody. Welcome to morning prayer on this beautiful blue skies and sunshiny day. Uh, our morning prayer this morning is taken from the Northumbrian community uh, so it has a Celtic flavour. So if you're ready we'll begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you speak, seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Our New Testament reading this morning is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. By faith Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith he made his home in the promised land, like a stranger in a foreign land. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children, because she considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised, they only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. People who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had opportunity to return. Instead, they were looking for a better country. A heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. In the Celtic tradition we have our meditation and we're meditating on Psalm 84, which I'll read slowly and allow you to think about the words and seek a calm place in your heart. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength, till each appear before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on your shield, O God. Look with favour on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favour and honour. No 
good thing does he withhold from those who walk in blameless? Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this new day, for the rest that the night has brought. And we pray for all those who have been working through the night, looking after those suffering from this dreadful virus that we are experiencing at the moment. We thank you for the spirit of support and generosity that is being shown in our community, each for each and being good neighbours to all. We continue to pray for the people of the Middle East, particularly the people in Syria who are struggling with civil warfare and violence. And we continue to pray for those refugees who are seeking or have hoped to have found a place of security. God to enfold me, God to surround me. God in my speaking, God in my thinking. God in my sleeping, God in my waking. God in my watching, God in my hoping. God in my life, God in my lips. God in my soul, God in my heart. God in my sufficient sufficing, God in my slumber, God in mine ever-living soul, God in mine eternity. <clears throat> Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me. On my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, whenever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everybody.